The trial for Nicholas Godejan has begun. Welcome to Color 10 News Midday, everyone. I'm Joe Morano. Thank you for joining us. The man accused of killing Dee Dee Blanchard in 2015 is on trial right now. So we want to begin right away with coverage of what's been happening there. Color 10's Daniel Shedd is outside the courthouse and joins us with an early morning update. Daniel, what have you seen so far today? Well, Joe, good morning to you. Nicholas Godejan entering court just after 9 o'clock this morning. Clean shaven, black slacks, and a beige shirt. Green County Prosecutor Dan Patterson and Godejan's defense attorney, Dwayne Perry, went back and forth with David Jones on a number of motions this morning, ranging from sexual misconduct to diminished mental, mental capacity on behalf of the defendant, Nicholas Godejan. It's very clear that this trial will revolve around whether or not Nicholas Godejan had the time to deliver deliberate or premeditate the murder of Dee Dee Blanchard and whether Godejan's diagnosis of autism and Asperger's had a role in that making. Of course, Godejan on trial for first degree murder in which the jury has to find probable cause that Godejan deliberated this homicide. Assistant Prosecutor Nate Chapman began his opening statements with the notion that Godejan began this premeditation well before his visit to Springfield. For the defendant, he was in love with Gypsy Blanchard, Claudine's daughter. And as he stood there, the only thing that stood between him being with Gypsy was Claudine. And so he stood there holding that knife for a minute, considering and deliberating the murder of Claudine Blanchard. Now, Assistant Defense Attorney Adam Mead began his, or excuse me, Andrew Mead began his opening statement by telling the jury that we are not here to, to, to debate whether Godejohn killed Dee Dee Blanchard. That was an accepted fact. He brought up that it was not in the first degree, which once again constitutes that Godejohn had the time or capacity to deliberate this homicide. We're going to have much more coming up on the trial tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock with Bria Douglas. In fact, the state actually admitting evidence into this this case, an exclusive interview that Godejohn had in prison with Bria Douglas tonight. That's something you're going to hear about tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock. We also have criminal defense attorney Adam Woody, not related to this case, but he's going to be in our studio talking about the next steps and what he anticipates both sides to fight for as we move forward with this trial. Reporting now live from the Greene County Courthouse, Daniel Shedd, Ozarks First. Thank you, Daniel, and that's right. We encourage you to stick with us because Bria is also at that courthouse right now covering this. She'll have that, and then we'll have our team coverage going as Colin Lingo will have more on this trial later on this evening and, of course, throughout the week.